Like literally, I need to have 20 pencils. If anyone knows where you can get a luminous or light up in the dark pencils, please send me a link. If you subscribe to my channel already, you've, you've probably, or maybe you haven't seen it yet, I'm not sure which order I've posted these in, uh, you probably saw I started a sink, that went disastrously wrong. Just cheap or nasty plastic drainage system just snapped as soon as the screw tightened around it. Hopefully, by the time you see that video, I will have bought some more parts to finish that part of the project and, and fit the sink. Uh, because that went wrong, I had to find something else to do, and it just so happens that I had uh, the curtain track uh, here with me. And so today's job, now instead of fitting a sink, is going to be putting up a curtain between the cargo area and the front cap. Excuse me. The first problem is that the roof is curved. See, you wouldn't have known what curved was unless I'd done that. Uh, so I need to use thinner pieces of wood uh, to that, that will bend around that curve of the of the roof, uh, which means that I'm probably going to have to layer that up, sort of one layer of wood, then fix another piece of wood to that and then hopefully I will have enough depth to fit the curtain rail. This is, uh, let's see on it, 12 millimeter. So it's got a lit, it's got a little bit of bend in it. And I'm, so right now, I'm just kind of just getting a feel for how I might do this. And as I mentioned, the van, the van roof curves the further it gets towards the side door. What I'm thinking I'm going to have to do, well, let me, let me demonstrate. If I take a piece of, if I take a piece of solid wood and place it across, you can probably see that there's a gap. The plan is to use some, some thinner, more flexible wood that will, that will bend into the roof and then I'll layer that up until I have enough depth to, to put the curtain track across.
drill some holes in this wood first because uh, that last lot was a bit splitty. Okay, that's the curtain up, and it couldn't be more of a perfect fit, really. Um, it, it, it's literally, like, spot on the right length. Um, also, opens and closes fine. Uh, I do have uh, some tiebacks that I can use. Um, so I'll be pinning them, pinning them back like that during the day. And then on an evening, they are blackout blinds as well, so that's going to keep uh, any light out or in. Uh, let me just move you and show you quickly. So they go right down below the step, and they go edge to edge. There's going to be no light getting in, and that will also keep heat in here as well. You see there's a small gap down here. Uh, what I think I'll do is I'll put some velcro just down here and that will keep a, a nice tight seal against that bulkhead wall. And a little bit of carpet. That, that's all that remains of the 12 meters that I bought and I'm hoping to maybe slice some of that up and use it to cover up the wooden part, the wooden rail. The wooden support that holds the rail for the curtain track. The curtain track is the rail. <laughs> Man, I like it. Just talking rubbish now. Yeah, this, the beams that I put in to support the curtain track, I'm going to cover that with carpet. And I found some carpet, and that's the carpet I'm going to use to put over the top of it. Oh, man, I need to go back to word school. All right, I'll catch you later. You've got to be kidding me.